Yo. We just people from the north side. Once the Timmy's hit the shore fine. Went to ready on the four ties. Heavy traffic during four five. Got a hustle on the own time. Color people that be port side. We just people from the north side. Once the Timmy's hit the shore fine. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Minnie Host here once again, and I'm back for another five questions. And I'm here with the amazing, the wonderful, the extravagant PCO. <laughs> Thanks okay. for the intro. <laughs> of course. So, yeah. first question How has your experience been on TNA? Uh, it's been great. It's been, uh, I think, TNA, uh, compared to the other companies before, they have uh, digged deeper into the French Canadian Frankenstein character. They have shown more layers than any other companies before. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, what was your favorite storyline that you've done? Well, I uh, I really enjoyed the one. I had a I had a bunch. Uh, the one with uh, Jonah, uh, I think, was one of my favorite. And then I had one with Gallo, and I jumped in into one with uh, Eddie Edwards and uh, Honor No More. And then I gotta say that the one with Steph Delander is probably. Uh, such a different storyline and it's got like the whole wrestling world uh, attention yeah so so this this is one of my favorite ones for for other reasons I just, just a different reason it's just it's just great it's just uh it's just cool like to to be in love and and maybe to get married or something like that you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Number three, what do you do when you're not wrestling? Uh, the last, since May 15, I've been touring all medias across the province of Quebec on top of wrestling with DNA, uh, you know, on the regular tour. But I, other than that, because this has been a very particular moment because, uh, we're going to be in my hometown in Montreal, so it's going to be very special. It's already sold out. It's going to be the biggest house in a long time, 4,000 people. Wow. And it's been, it's been, it's been, it's a sellout for a week now, past a week. So it's been one of the quickest one and one of the biggest one uh, in the last 10 years. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And uh, I, I was really working hard and I, making sure that everybody knew that we were in down and uh, using all my connections, my contacts and all the people that I knew. So I kind of toured the whole uh, province or it's like a state. So kind of toured uh, all around. So there's people coming with buses and VRs and things like that. So it's going to be a, a huge party. And uh, other than that, I mean, I got, I got to have a, like a, a very disciplined life, so I, I don't party that much, and uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty much like training, uh, going in the ring and practicing the stuff, and uh, that's it. This, this, I just love sports. I just love doing sports. So all kinds of sports, <laughs> yeah. whether, whether whether it's uh, high hockey. Uh, tennis, baseball, softball, whatever. I just, I just like sports. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sports guy. <laughs> Number four, where was your character inspiration from? The inspiration from for being a pro wrestler or as far as the character? Yeah, like the character. Uh, yeah, that, that, was, uh, that came from my personal trainer who became my creator. Because uh, he was doing some movies and he was a personal trainer for doctors at the same time. He had like all, all kinds of professionals going to his house. And I wanted them to train me. And uh, he grew up in Massachusetts. And I don't know why, when he was like three years old, uh, he was watching a lot of monsters movies. And he, he, he fell in love with strength. So he's got the strongest hands in the world pound for pound, uh, Destro, the Destro, so Dr. Destro, and he's the one, like, uh, I was training with him, and then 
he saw me walked away from him. He said, come back here and walk again, come back here and walk again, come back here. Then he was just watching me walking, but my he was watching me from my back and I was walking uh, away from him. And, uh, and then after a couple of times, he said, that's it. That's what you are. It's, you are him. You know, you're, we don't know if you're going to fall left or right or if it's the way you just walk, but you just walk like the monster Frankenstein. And then uh, I don't know. Then I started working for other companies. And I, before I said it, like everybody was saying it. And uh, that's how it was born. And uh, yeah, became the French Canadian Frankenstein. <laughs> Amazing. So the fifth and final questions out of all the different versions of PCO, which one is your favorite? This one by far, by mm -hmm. miles and miles and miles, by like 2000, I don't know, all the way to the moon, far away from any other version. My second one would be the Pirate, and then my third one would be the Quebecers. But I had a bunch in between. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really my best ever favorite character. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for doing this to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're very good. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats. Well, I hope you keep, keep doing video. it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the button and, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification so you get notified each time you post a video. And I love you guys so much. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw today, please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos and content. Also, you could follow us on all social media platforms on X at underscore straight talk, on Facebook and Instagram at straight talk wrestling, on TikTok at straight underscore talk underscore wrestling. And of course, you could follow us on Podbean and you could check us out on Sunday Night Main Events, Free Feed, and Patreon. Thank you. Oh,